Hello everyone. This is Sanjog once again. I hope you all are safe. Uh, this video is the completion part of my previous videos on pronouns. Uh, so today I will explain the remaining four types of pronouns. So let's get started. For video, you can refer to your book page number twenty nine, and we can go it accordingly. Okay. So next pronoun today we will discuss is demonstrative pronouns. Now demonstrative pronouns it points to a specific things. You know that um, the example is these, that, these, and those. Now this and that. I hope you people know how to use this and that. This is used. We point out to the object which is near to us, and that we point out to the object which is which is farther than us. Now these and those. Now this is the plural form of this. And that is the plural form of sorry. Those is the plural form of that. So example is this is the boy who is a member of the music group. So here this we are pointing to a specific object that is boy. Now that is the lake. Now that we are also pointing to the specific object that is lake. Now next one is distributive pronouns. Now distributive, the word itself resembles that we are talking about something which is related to distribution. Now this pronoun are used to talk about people or thing as individual member of a pair or of a group. Now these are the pronouns which we use to talk about people or thing as individual member. of a pair or of a group now a distributive pronoun is always singular in nature and is therefore followed by a singular verb so it is always followed by a singular verb you know that uh, a verb and a subject has you know certain agreements uh, there are certain syntax that we have to follow uh, a verb subject verb agreement that chapter i will discuss later on now but always remember that a distributive pronoun is always singular in nature and it is always followed by a singular verb now for example see here some common distributive pronouns are each either and neither now each is used to denote every one of a number of person or things taken now we use either and neither to refer to individual in a pair now when used as a distributive pronoun each either and neither are followed by plural nouns and singular verb so the noun must be plural and the verb is singular now note that when they are used as distributive pronoun they are used by themselves without a noun after them now a good example of uh, distributive pronouns is each of the boy is healthy suppose if i say each of the boys is healthy now each of the boys i am using plural that is boys b o y s boys now each is a distributive pronoun which is singular in nature of the boys but here i am using uh but here i am using a plural noun is healthy so similarly either of the roads leads to the market now either of the roads now i'm talking about two roads here one and two either of the roads leads to the market now similarly neither of the girls neither of the boys we can say all right so a uh, distributive pronoun refers to a person or thing one at time so one at a time it it only refers to a persons or thing one at a time if i say each of the boys now i am talking about one individual boy now either of the roads if i say that then i am talking about individual road so that's why they are always singular in nature okay next i hope this one is the last one indefinite pronouns okay indefinite mm, they have given the example here also of the 10 students shortlisted each received an award so this is the example you can refer in your book 
Now, indefinite pronoun means which is not particular in nature. Are usually used to talk about people or thing in general. They do not refer to specific things. So, uh, we have um, uh, demonstrative pronoun was specific for the object, and this one indefinite pronoun is not specific. Now, they includes anyone, anybody, anything, everyone, someone, somebody, something, one, some, few, many more. These are the examples of indefinite pronoun. So, why it is indefinite? Now, let us check. Now, if I say indefinite, anybody can do this easy task. Now, anybody I am talking about. I am not specific. I am only talking about. Uh, sorry, I am not specific. And I am talking in general. If I say anybody, anything can happen. Something is wrong. Now, here I am not specific. Okay, so indefinite pronouns are used to talk about people's or things in general and it is not a specific pronoun. Okay, so with this note, uh, we have completed the portion of pronouns. So watch my first video also and do the assignments. I told you to do all the exercises. Alright, and please share the screenshots in the group so that i can review it and i can give you the feedback so that's all for today kindly do the homework do utilize your time and stay safe